Hello everyone. This is my attempt at making a root beer float. I got all the stuff I have set up right here on the table. I hope I don't make much of a mess. But here we go. Need a mug, obviously, for a root beer float. If it's stupid in a glass, you need a mug. And if possible, you can frost that mug in the freezer like overnight. It won't damage the mug because it's nice and thick. Thick glass. And then you can use it the next day. I have a spoon that I'm going to scoop the ice cream out with because I don't have a scoop right now. But if you use a scoop, use two scoops of vanilla ice cream. Which I have right here. I got Turkey Hill brand because that's what they had on sale at the store. Ha <laughs> ha. I have a long spoon here to use to mix up the root beer and the ice cream in the mug and if I wanted to eat some of the ice cream which I'm not going to do then I also have a long straw here for my muzzle and of course I'm only using the best root beer in the world Barks even though it's a Coca-Cola brand I still like it the best so Let's try to do this. Open up the ice cream. It should be nice and soft. Stand it out for a little bit. I'm going to use like three scoops of this spoon for the ice cream. careful with the root beer because it's going to fizz up a lot. You get a lot of foam. So you can't go too fast with the root beer. You can either wait for it to go down a little bit then pour more root beer, and then you could drink it. But for time constraints, for the video, I'm going to have some right now. Oh yeah, very awesome root beer flow. Tastes so good. Well, that's it for my root beer float video. Hope you guys like it.